Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to review a new tool for my office. This is a laser cutter. Its name is Xtool D1 Pro. So the laser cutter actually is here, over here. This is a rotational module to engrave or to cut the uh, cylindrical parts. And this is an air assist module. Let's get started by assembling all of this. Over here we have different test materials. And here very good and detailed manual. And also different examples where you can use this laser engraver slash laser cutter. And underneath this layer we have the main frame. And over here this should be the laser module. And this is a laser module, 20 watt output power, the wavelength 455. And it's very dangerous laser, so you should be really careful with it. Over here there is a lever to focus. Cool. Over here there is a safety glasses, zip ties, and the screws with a screwdriver. The assembly should be quite simple and straightforward. To assemble the frame basically there are one screw here and three over here. And the same on all four corners. This axis goes over here with the coupler. The long screw goes over here in order to tighten the belt. And the same goes on the other side. This axis, it should be installed in such way in order to make this part and this part at the same distance from this side or from other side. So basically this part should be perfectly in front of this one because over here we're going to install the X axis. So basically right now if I move the axis these two parts, they touch this rear face at the same time. It's hard to see on video, but believe me. This is the X axis. And you can see how it works. Actually, on all axes over here, they use this kind of uh, bearings with the U shape. And over here, they have the stainless steel rods, precision rods. And like this, these bearings, they slide on these rods. You see there is one here bearing and two here. And it works pretty well and it's like super rigid. There is no play, like zero play. I really like this idea. I think it's way better than V-shaped uh, aluminum profiles with the plastic wheels. I think it would be nice also to make a 3D printer with this kind of moving system. Actually, this moving system was the main point why I choose this laser cutter over other laser cutters. The frame is uh, super rigid. I really like it. And now what is left? The laser module. Over here I have installed this part for the air assist. So basically air assist is going to blow the air through this nozzle over here over the laser. And like this it's going to blow away all the debris from your material when the laser is going to engrave or to cut. Connector goes at the back. And it's installed. Easy. Over here there is a lever. You can pull this lever and change the distance between the laser and your material. And from this side there is this piece in order to focus your laser. So this piece basically measures the distance between the laser and your material. So basically if this piece is just touches your material it means that the laser is at the right height with respect to this material. And over here there is another lever with which you can fine-tune the focus of your laser. Meaning that right now this piece is at zero over here. So when you put this piece down, the focus of the laser is going to be at the tip of this piece. But if you would like to put the focus of the laser inside your material, for example if you cut a very thick material, you can adjust it over here with this lever. So now we can put this like for example at 3, like over here. And so now 
if with this lever you will touch your material, the focus is going to be 3 mm inside your material. Let's put this back at zero. This is air assist pump. It's very simple. It has only one button on off. Over here there is a rotary attachment. You need this if you need to engrave or cut cylindrical parts. So it looks like this and over here you can put your cylinder. This part can be fixed at the position C, B and A. And like this you can adjust it for different diameter of the pieces which you want to cut or engrave. And both rollers are actuated. Also over here you can install this part like this. And so you can fix uh, your cylindrical part over here using these jaws. Everything is really solid made out of aluminum and I should say that it's a quite well built uh, system. This is the part in order to support your cylindrical piece. There is also another part like this which you can use. So like this you can fix almost any cylindrical shaped piece in this system, in this rotary attachment. And if you need to engrave something or to cut something which is really tall, which uh, does not uh, fit over here in this gap, for this you use this kind of risers. They're all identical and they look like this. And basically you screw them inside the fit, just like this. You can put one of them, you can put two of them. The air assist is connected. And for the first test we will try to cut 3 mm basswood plywood. The laser cutter is sitting on this 18 mm plywood to protect my table. And here I checked that our material is parallel to the x-axis. Next, switch on the device, connect it via USB cable. Here I use the X2 Creative Space program, which is free and user-friendly. But if you want, you can also use a light burn. Immediately it proposed me to update the firmware. For this you need to put this small switch in the upload position. Confirm. Updating firmware. Put back the switch to the left position. Confirm again. And now let's set up Wi-Fi connection. Like this we can get rid of USB cable. And now our laser cutter is ready to cut. I'm going to use this file from the previous project. Next we specify the material. 3 mm basswood plywood. We would like to cut. Next this button. We do the framing. As you can see the framing is off. So I need to change the reference. This seems better. And now let's start. As you can see it cuts this plywood really fast. By the way, my window is fully open for the ventilation. But still this is not enough. There is a strong smell of burned wood. Let's look at our part now. The cut went through. All the small bits can be easily separated and the quality seems perfect. The back side seems ugly. But this is because of plywood underneath. I suppose it would be way better with the honeycomb panel. I have also tried engraving. And again it worked from the first time. Impressive. I also tried 3 mm black acrylic. And it worked great with the default settings. Be aware that you cannot cut clear acrylic with such diet laser. For the colored acrylic it usually works better for darker colors. Please note that it does not make perfectly perpendicular cut, but still it's quite good cut. And probably it can be better tuned in the software. And so I have decided to make the planetary gear set or kind of planetary gear set. 
and this is the first attempt. It kind of works, but as you can see, there is like a lot of play. And this is because of the thickness of the cut. And the thickness of the cut, I think, somewhere in between 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 millimeters. But over here, there are many of them. And especially there is this one between the teeth. And so it sums up in this play. Afterwards, I use this option to correct for the width of the cut. And uh, I put for the correction 0 0.3 millimeters. And as you can see, it was too much. You cannot assemble these gears because they don't fit inside. In the third try, I used 0 0.2. It was still too much. And on the last try, I used the 0 0.1 millimeter offset. There is quite small play. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. And now I would like to test the most important feature for me. This is engraving on anodized aluminum. Usually for engraving metal you need to use the fiber lasers. But they are quite expensive. I think the cheapest one is uh, something like 2.5k per laser. And usually it's around 5k per laser. And so I would like to test if with this relatively cheap laser with respect to the fiber laser we can engrave anodized aluminum. I think this is a super important feature, especially for the small companies who produce the small aluminum parts. Because like this, you can really customize these parts, make some writings on these parts, put your logo and stuff like this. Let's test this. I have the three anodized aluminum plates, which we are going to use for the test. This looks really good. These thin lines are too thin and not very visible, but the rest looks perfect. And here I'm trying to engrave the text with the three different font sizes. 30 points, 20 points and 12 points. Yeah, this looks like uh, quite good settings. This is great. Ha ha ha. Look at this beauty. I can feel a little bit the texture with my finger. I have unmounted the cover from my actuator and let's try to engrave the inner side. And this is how it looks. It's not as bright as on the other side, but I don't know if uh, on the other side is a paint or maybe it was made with fiber laser. So it is less bright, but still perfectly visible. And here the font size 8, so even with this font size it works well. Cool, it does work. Let's check how deep is this engraving. For this let's try to scratch it with the sandpaper. It resists the sandpaper. It resists quite good actually. I will try to use more aggressive sandpaper. Still nothing. Okay, I have managed to damage this engraving, but for this I went uh, to bare aluminum. So it seems that engraving is really deep and not just something on the surface. Cool, this is exactly what I need. For the storage I decided to put this laser cutter on the wall. Like this it does not take much space. And now the conclusion time. First of all this laser cutter slash engraver is really well built. It's uh, really solid, there is no play, perfect. It works uh, from the first time out of the box, uh, you just need to assemble it, install the software. And it works. This is really cool. I really like that it can engrave the anodized aluminum and it engraves it really deeply, as we checked. If you would like to engrave or cut plastic or wood, I think it's a good idea to have the some kind of enclosure in order to extract all the fumes from this laser cutter. But if you would like to use it to engrave the anodized aluminum, I think uh, in this case open frame is uh, okay to work. And if you would like to have a good quality cut, I think it's very important to have the air assist and also the honey cup 
panel underneath uh, of your part which you're going to cut like this you would not have the burnt side like I do. I should say that I also like the software Xtool Create Your Space. It's uh, quite simple, it's easy to use. This software has a minor issue that from time to time on my MacBook it uh, freezes but you just need to kill it, relaunch it and it works perfectly fine. But if you don't like it you can use the Lightburn, it works with this engraver. I, when I looked at the Lightburn it's so complicated, Oof. I think it's for the professional but for the start I think Xtool Creative Space is perfect. But please remember that you need a safety glasses because it's a really dangerous laser and uh, you need to protect yourself. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Huge thank you to people who support me via Patreon and via YouTube channel membership. Here are their names. Thank you guys and girls, you are the best. As usual, stay safe, good luck with your projects and see you next time.